So these level one constructs are quite nice if we want low level access and really tweak the configuration to our needs. But with them, we also end up having quite some Java code. And that's why we will now take a look at the level two constructs, the curated ones, uh, which the AWS CDK team provides to solve um, common use cases and already provide convenient defaults for our AWS resources. So for this, let's go into a new level one construct stack. So as our CDK application can contain multiple stacks, we will all include them to our central CDK app. And for this example, we will now use also a S3 bucket, but now we will use the bucket class of the S3 CDK module. So this represents a level two construct because it doesn't have the CFN prefix which we just saw so here again we need to first provide the scope which is in our example the stack then an id so let's put in here level 2 construct and now comes the bucket props so we'll see here they are not named the cfn bucket props but these are now specific properties that the aws cdk team put in place for us and they now allow a quite simpler configuration of our S3 bucket. So the first example, let's take a look at versioning. So here is one public method of the builder, which is called versioned. And here we can simply pass true or false. While we had to configure the whole versioning on our own by passing in this versioning configuration property with the enabled status flag, for the level two constructs, there is just one method where we can delegate this property creation to the level two constructs and we only have to tell if we want versioning or not. Configuring blocking public access now also comes a little bit simpler with this level two constructs. There is now one block public access. So here we can either specify block ACLs or block all. And this will then internally translate to the same configuration we did here manually with four lines of code. Also one example where this level two construct really shines is the encryption. So with the encryption, we can simply specify how we want the bucket encryption to be. So let's say we want our bucket encryption to be encrypted with a KMS key. And with this, as we will see in a second, it will also automatically create the relevant CloudFormation resources for the KMS key. If we would have done the same with the level one construct, we would have to first create the KMS key manually with the CFN key class and then combine those two CloudFormation resources while with the level two construct, this is taken care for us. So let's see how this looks like. And first we have to, similar to the level one construct, also include it to our application. And then here also let's give it a stack name of our choice and let's take a level two example and then we can synthesize our code so as we are now including two stacks it will print out that it synthesizes both templates for us we can then take a look at the level two stack and then you will see here so the first resource in this example is not the aws s3 bucket but here this kms key so with the correct statements to have access to our S3 bucket. And then here down, you will see, and then further down, you will see our AWS S3 bucket with the correct bucket configuration pointing to our key that we will create with the stack. So all of this was abstracted by this level two construct. While we could achieve the same with the level one construct, we have to, we would have to provide all this configuration manually. With this block all, we will see now all the four values here true. So in this way, we also saved quite some lines of code. So we didn't specify any um, update or delete policy, but here we'll see one of the convenient defaults of these level two construct in action as the CDK team for the S3 module decided that uh, retain is a convenient default. So whenever we will now deploy our stack and then remove the stack, the S3 bucket will remain inside our account and won't be deleted. So we could also for sure override this. And there is one removal policy method of this builder and then we can pass in here destroy retain our snapshot so let's pick here destroy and then our bucket if it's empty would 
be destroyed on stack deletion. So let's synthesize this one more time that we have the removal policy overwritten. And then we'll see here, not the convenient default of this construct, but we could overwrite this. So when using these curated constructs, uh, you should first check the output if the convenient defaults apply to your use case. And if they do, you can leave them as they are or overwrite them uh, depending on your needs. So when we now want to deploy our CDK application, let's try to do this. The CDK CLI will complain that our application contains multiple stacks and we didn't specify which stack we want to deploy. So with the previous example, it worked because we only had one stack inside our application and then CDK recognizes uh, to deploy only this stack. But once we have multiple stacks inside our app, we either have to define which stack we want to deploy or uh, put in a wildcard to deploy all our stacks. But before deploying, one final thing I forgot. The most important thing about the S3 bucket is for sure the bucket name. So let's also add one here. Let's hope this is not already taken by someone. I don't think so. So then synthesize again. So to now deploy all our stacks, we can put in here the wildcard star. We could also add the comma separated list of the name of the stacks we want to deploy. But in this example, let's deploy all of them. Here it asks us um, as there are security related changes, are we sure we want to deploy this? And here we can continue with yes. So let's switch back to the AWS CloudFormation console. And inside our stacks, we should now see here still the level one stack because, because it was part of our application, but now the level two stack, which is uh, in progress. As part of the resources, we should then see both the bucket and the KMS key. So here it now already created the CDK metadata, which is present for all of our stacks. And then here the KMS key is currently provisioned. And once this is done, we should then see our S3 bucket. So you're not limited to use the official level two constructs of the CDK modules. You can also write your own constructs and then, for example, share them within your organization to have similar setups and can maintain, for example, a company-wide standard with them. And when using Java and Maven, you can then create your own libraries that contain relevant CDK constructs, then publish them to your internal artifactory or also to, to Maven Central, and then can share them across different teams. We are also um, developing our own CDK constructs library which should help Java developers in the future to easily deploy their applications to AWS. So right now this project is not stable yet, but you can take a look at the currently available constructs that this library exposes. So for example, here we have convenient constructs to create a network or a Postgres database and then the final ECS service. But keep in mind that this is uh, still under development and um, not stable yet. So let's go back to the console and see now finally all our resources were created. So we now see here three resources, the key, the bucket and the metadata and got an example on how the level two constructs can really make our lives easier as we can um, simplify the required um, configuration steps for our AWS resources.